Let's see. You guys have not seen me with hair. Ha ha! Oh, I got some hair. I got some hair. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Anyways, order of business. The semester has started. And when I say they kicked it off in full effect, like they did not play any games with us first day. Um, was Friday and we don't even have classes on Fridays however the first day of school was on a Friday so they said oh no we're gonna utilize this Friday and we're gonna take it and we're gonna make it an orientation day but not only are we gonna orient you guys um, into the semester and give you your handbooks and let you know the rules that you already know we're also gonna throw some lecture in there too because y'all need to come prepare. You had a little break, you had a little summer break, and it's time to get back into the school thing. So we're gonna throw some lecture on you and um, wake you up. That's what they said. So, Friday, I worked on Thursday night. I worked a double, three to 11, 11 to seven. And then I had class, I had to be there by 8.30 on Friday. I always do myself dirty. Like So my camera memory card got full, so I had to delete some stuff and it's some stuff I probably in the future will regret deleting, but it's no holds bar whenever the memory card's full and you wanna record a YouTube video. So it is what it is. But anyways, what I was talking about was how the semester started. So our semester started last Friday. Um, and this is, again, I'm just to give you a brief, brief background about me and my career just in case this is your first time tuning in i am an l my name is lanice i am currently an lpn i've been an lpn for since 2014 so this is my fifth year and i'm currently in the lpn to rn transition program at my local community college and i am in the second semester out of three it's a three semester program um I, the first semester was over the summer finished the summer successfully now I'm moving into the second semester and I mean, it, it has really already taken off. And what inspired this video today was for one, I wanna make sure I'm staying consistent with my routine, with my studying, with my focus on nursing because I can go off on a tangent because I am a creative and I do a lot of other creative things outside of nursing. Um, and so this one, my blog or vlog allows me to stay um, focus on nursing because I get to share with you guys what I'm learning in nursing school, but it also allows me to be creative. But anyways, um, what inspired today's vlog on YouTube is the fact that we started off with new teachers. And so I guess today is just going to be a small vent or a small what I'm learning as you make it through nursing school. I'm not sure. But this semester, we have a different lead instructor. We have different instructors all together. And I don't know if my last instructor spoiled us. I don't know if it's the fact that that was my second time taking the course. Or, you know, I will say that different instructors teach differently and that can be a bit frustrating once you get used to certain teachers learning styles because I had a couple of teachers in my last semester in the summer semester I had a couple of them that I just absolutely love the way they teach they went into detail the way I needed them to go into detail they gave you all of the information that you needed to know to study for your tests you know they really emphasized and heightened uh, things that they knew um, would be on the test. They were just a really big help and I really I really really um, Got used to how they taught and I really enjoy how they taught because it kept me interested for one And it also answered a lot of my questions. They were there to answer a lot of my questions And then you had a few who really you know I didn't really enjoy their teaching because they were just all over the place and so the current teacher I'm not quite sure how she teaches. I don't know how she teaches. This is my first time ever having these lectures by her. And then, you know, different subjects are a lot harder to teach or a lot harder to even be interested in if you're just not interested in it. And right now we're starting the semester off with psych. 
So it's depressive, it's depression disorder and bipolar and things like that. And it is, that's a tough subject. Like it is so many things that can go wrong with one small body part, which is your brain, which is really the most important part of your body. But anyways, you know, it's just a lot of different things that can go wrong with it. So it's a lot of information. You know, there, this semester we have a lot more information on each test. We have more units covered per test as opposed to the summer semester. Um, and so I'm a bit nervous, honestly. I am very nervous because for one, I don't know how this teacher teaches. Um, I am, however, trying to keep up with my same study habits. Like I said, I'm still trying to print my PowerPoint and record my lecture and sit down and record my lecture. And that is really where today's video got inspired because that's what I was doing. And I was trying to listen to last Friday's lecture and it was only 45 minutes long. Usually I got a good hour of studying in for me. I got a good hour of listening that I can sit down and actually listen to one lecture. I usually have a good hour. But with this particular teacher, I don't know if it's because she has so much information per slide or so much information right now sounds like it's important. I'm not sure what it is. It might just be me. But I was only able to sit down and listen to this lecture for like a good 22 minutes. I made it halfway through the 45 minute lecture. I'm like, oh no, this is like a problem because last semester or over the summer i was really able to focus on listening to my lectures and i'm hoping that it's just me having to shake off my little you know i took a couple of trips and on my summer break because that was the plan you know i went to canada and there will be a vlog on that and i also went to um florida for my friend's wedding and i would try my hardest to do a vlog on that i got so much stuff going on, on my blog so many videos but we're back in school so it gets kind of put to the side but anyways um i don't know if i'm needing to shake off the first day jitters and really just jump in and get focused or if this teacher's teaching style is just not one for me and i'm gonna have to put in a lot more effort into passing this particular test and I will also say I am learning because my mom is a mental health uh, nurse practitioner and for a long time I thought that mental health is what I wanted to do like if you know me I'm all into like psychology I'm all into zodiacs which sometimes can lead into a little bit of mental health and healing um but i am uh, i really thought that mental health was what I wanted to do for one because it seems like not working at the bedside um, seems it just always seems like a lot less responsibility <laughs> than working at the bedside so I never really felt like working at the bedside was for me but we will that'll be a whole nother vlog we'll get into that another day but um you know so I always thought mental health mental mental health because it does really like excite me but listening to this lecture and again I don't know if it's me if it's a teacher or what or just where I am mentally right now but listening to this lecture is draining and it's making me depressed like listening to depression it's like making me sit here and really start worrying about all the things that i probably shouldn't be worried about or like it's my mind is just really really going which is not i don't need it to go off into those places i need to be able to focus on this lecture listen to this lecture take what i need and pass this freaking test um but this particular subject is draining me I think it, that you know that I think I just really figured it out. I answered my own question. This subject is just draining me, and I'm learning that mental health nursing may not be for me. I would love to be a family nurse practitioner and work in a doctor's office, um, or a women's health nurse practitioner and work under OB, but I don't think that mental health is going to be for me because I get sad like i get really sad listening to it so yep that's how the semester is starting tomorrow so i'm supposed to have clinicals two days a week tuesday wednesday at night but tomorrow i have to go extremely early eight o'clock that's early to me <laughs> i work night shift so tomorrow i have to go for clinical orientation we have to be there eight o'clock 
and tonight I'm supposed to be taking some pictures for my friend because she's like this super dope creative and she asked if I could take some pictures for her as in me be the subject and not be behind the camera. So I'm just like, yep, yeah, because I always like how our projects turn out when we work together. So I want to go by there and do that. It doesn't look like I'll be going to the gym. The gym was on my list of things to do today too, but I really want to do the photo shoot. I really want to finish studying. I really want to eat something for dinner. And I really want to take a shower and get in the bed by like, if I can get in the bed by 1230, I will feel like I can wake up in enough time to get some breakfast, have a cup of coffee and um, get to class on time and still be alert and oriented times four. <laughs> Um, in order to listen and gather what I need to gather from my instructors at clinical orientation tomorrow So I spoke into existence. That's what's gonna happen and I am gonna cut this off right here I just wanted to share with you guys, you know how this semester is starting off I just wanted to share with you guys how I'm feeling and just kind of like an issue I guess you could say that I'm running into um, this semester in nursing school and I'm sure that this is something that a lot of other nursing students um, can relate to if you can relate to it um, leave your comments down below I love to have discussion about it to see how you overcome it um, but yeah that's it, it I'm, I'm learning things I'm running into an obstacle right now in nursing school and I'm just gonna make it through I'm gonna do the best I know how but I'm learning how to overcome this obstacle so it is what it is but anyways my name is Lanise and I am out of here